In today's video, I wanna talk about women hating the fact that they are judged by their past. Let's talk about it. trenches handling that kingdom business man it is no coincidence that in this daytime and hour single motherhood is at an all-time high and this has you know pretty much turned the dating market upside down and I've done a video on the statistics of how many women that a man will come across will actually have kids and it's, it's an alarming rate you know women 25 and younger it's an alarming rate it will alarm you and I got that video uh, on my on my channel but in saying that you know biblically if you don't repent if you don't reach repentance you will be judged on your past the most high Yah will judge you on your past men out here likewise if you don't repent you will be judged for your past and repent is not just as people oftentimes think repentance is asking for forgiveness no repentance is turning from your former ways you know uh pivoting from your former ways of wickedness and and, and wrongdoings and iniquity what good is the forgiveness if you're not willing to pivot and make a change but this is very important because you know I want to encourage women out here to save yourself until marriage save yourself until marriage you know there's women out there I've talked about it that are embarrassed of their child's father of their baby daddy and this is why I say save yourself till marriage because nowadays and you cannot you cannot knock nobody for having a preference of wanting to start their own family but oftentimes women shame a man for saying hey I'm not interested in a single mother the minute the minute he says that well wasn't your mama a single mom what about all the women in your life that was they go down that road and this is why I'm telling you Save yourself unto a marriage. And men really don't have any sympathy for the woman that chose to have a baby by not only one foolish man, but by multiple foolish men. And then when, when a man uh, asks you, what, what, what's going on with the father? How is that? You got one baby daddy in jail, one baby daddy in uh, adult dealer one of them dead and the, the story just keep it gets worse you cannot knock a man for saying you know what i'm good because i cannot trust you under my headship and authority to make wise and logical decisions that's what men are saying you are too much of a liability based upon your historical decision making if you've got one child and, and, and you got uh, uh, very good characteristics and values and morals as a woman, you know, you're submissive, you can get an opportunity, you know, cause you've only, you, 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 you potentially got one baby daddy and that joker might not be no good. A woman will let you know if her baby daddy is worth a day. If she don't want to talk about him and he ain't worth talking about, man, that joker's a dud. But look no further because the woman might be a dud also. She might be a dud and men will, men will, men will be like, you know what? I'm not interested in that. And it oftentimes offends women when you ask that question. They think that you're just supposed to overlook these living creatures, these children that they want you to provide for. And 
I want you to understand, man, there is women out there that haven't pivoted, haven't changed, and are still looking for that bad boy with two, three baby daddies already, and a man will look at you and say, man, I'm seeing too much. You got this tattoo on your breast, you got a tattoo on your neck, you got these nose rings, you got all these baby daddies, you still wanna smoke weed and, and, and want, want royal treatment. You gotta understand, man, when a man says, you know what, I'm good on that. When a man passes on you, it, 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 it's not, it's not him shaming you, it's just, you gotta think, if you don't repent for your sins and turn from your wicked ways, the most high y'all don't want you bringing your foolishness to the kingdom. That's why he'll tell you, part ways for I never knew you. You still a worker of iniquity. And this is why, you know, I try to put as much message out there for women. Save yourself until marriage. All of this little sex you call yourself having and having needs, it's going to backfire on you. Because once you get so deep, there's women out there that, that will flat out tell you, I know no good man is coming along to deal with this stuff I got going. I got babies by all these men, though none of them look alike. I, I can't get no help from these men because I chose poor men because of my poor decision making. You know, it's women out there that will tell you that. And, and women, you need to take heed to this. Take heed to this. You out and letting men bust you down raw. You out letting men bust you down raw. And you sitting there sitting over here crazy talking about, yeah, my boyfriend said he wanted to have my baby. And then, and then this man got kids that he don't even take care of. I'm telling you, you will be judged for your path. Everybody, everybody wants. All rebellious people don't want to be judged. You got to understand, in this country, if you get a felony, man, there's 44,000 different negative effects of having a felony that you will have to experience. You're judged on your past. It's like, it's like shooting up a, it's like shooting up a mall. And then a year later, you don't want nobody to, to mention that you shot up a mall. It's the same thing. And I'm trying to get women to understand this. If you don't want to be going through some of these hardships, it's not a flex to be sitting out here talking about, well, I'm raising this baby on my own. I don't need no man. That ain't no flex. Because one day when you tap out and you no longer want to do that and you want some help, potentially based upon your decision making, you didn't got yourself in a hole too deep and you can't get out. You can't get out. And this is why I say, for women out there, if you have a child, man, you need to you need to turn from your former ways of ignorance. But to do this over and over and over again, a man ain't gonna ignore that because, man, you you bring in, you bring in, you talking about a woman with three uh, kids, three different baby daddies, three different personalities, temperaments, and these kids, and these kids. Uh, you take a woman in like that, your grocery bill gonna be well over a thousand dollars. And you want a man to just roll the dice and gamble on your poor decision. It's a difference. There's a difference between a woman who has been divorced and married. There's a, there's a difference between that than just the average woman out here with all these kids and all these baby daddies. You can't correct these kids. You can't tell these kids nothing. The woman won't allow you to. Men is not rolling the dice on that. You know, so if you're a woman out here and you got uh, potentially one child and that joker, the, the, the father is no good, you need, to, you need to have acts that bear fruit of repentance as far as what you went for in a man, you don't need to be going for that, you know? And you truly need to have a submissive, a modest, and meek spirit. The man comes along and he's, you see, man, it's a good man. And he tells you things that he wants to see out of you in order to take it further. You need to do it. Because you're not gonna get that many opportunities. And if you keep entertaining these bad boys, yeah, they're 
gonna they gonna dick you down and do all that, and you gonna just continue to have more baby daddy. Close to the yacht ministry's kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Pow.